This is the video for book four of the Nicomachean Ethics, and this is a pretty quick video because there's not a lot that you need to know before reading book four. Uh, there's basically just two very small points to make. So the first point to make is, like with book three, book four consists of Aristotle examining various virtues. So he goes through uh, different sorts of virtues in book four, and so in addition to thinking about and looking at what he says about these virtues, it's also good to be using these to think about and understand Aristotle's general theory of virtue and general theory of ethics, because what we want is not just to figure out what Aristotle thinks about generosity or uh, boastfulness or things like this, but we also want to understand his overall theory and his overall project and how he approaches ethics. And so the more evidence we have of how the theory works when you put it into use, when you apply it to particular virtues, the better we'll be able to think about what is Aristotle doing, how does Aristotle think about ethics, how does he think we should approach these topics. And so the more evidence you have for that, the better you'll be able to understand him. So as you read through book four, do it also with an eye towards uh, assembling in your head an even better picture of how Aristotle approaches this subject itself. So that's point number one. Point number two, uh, again, as with book three, because we're going through lots of different virtues, uh, he's talking generally about the virtues, and I think it's very helpful uh, to think about these to come up with examples in your head of people who fit the various virtues and also the various vices, because the way he examines the virtues is by talking about uh, what a virtuous person looks like and also what a vicious person looks like. And so the more you can match examples or potential examples of people to these various virtues, the better this will help you with understanding how they work. So you can use people that you know or famous people. It's often really good to use um, people from uh, myth and legend. Like these are often people who instantiate various virtues or vices or who face choices where they have to instantiate various virtues or vices. So the Ramayana, for instance, has like famous parts where we see exactly what Aristotle is talking about in a lot of book four. So uh, to the extent that you can come up with examples or potential examples, because of course to know if the example is good, you have to already understand what's going on and maybe you don't. But coming up with potential examples can be one way of thinking about and trying to understand what's going on here. 